Hello and welcome to another episode of Two Minute Reviews, the show where we review things in two minutes, and today we're going to be reviewing Quadeca's new album, I Didn't Mean to Haunt You. I was much nicer than most music critics when it came to Quadeca's 2020 release from me to you, but something tells me that this time around, the consensus of music critics and the consensus of Quadeca fans are going to be more similar. That is because this album is an undoubtable experimental masterpiece. This album, as with its previous, is completely self-produced, and it really is the incredible production that takes centre stage here. The shoegaze influences in production lead to moments where the music builds up to climaxes that are genuinely overwhelming, in a way that songs like Sisyphus attempted on his previous record, but in this one, bring you to a point of of emotional devastation. These dense, excessive and overwhelming passages of musical production, often with traditional string or piano elements mixed with Quadeca's glitchy soundscapes, are coupled with quieter, stripped back moments of raw, haunting musical beauty. And when these elements are combined, they lead to gorgeous, breathtaking cuts like the song Fantasy World, which might be my song of the year. And while you can hear some of Quadeca's musical influences, like the Death Grip style beat on Knots, or the Joji-esque reverb-soaked vocal delivery on a few of these tracks, the project feels completely unique to Quadeca's musical and artistic vision, steering completely clear of his previous problem of maybe being a bit derivative. Coupled with the production are, one, the killer features from Danny Brown and the Sunday Service Choir, which really make their respective songs special experiences. Two, the honestly poetic and powerful lyricism from Quadeca, who finally steers himself away from the cringy YouTube rapper lyrics that I thought brought down the emotional impact of his previous record. And three, the creative and disturbing story that the album is telling, that brings the whole project under one cohesive narrative. I have no hesitation in saying this is one of the best albums of the year. It's haunting, dark, disturbed, and just gorgeous. It's cathartic and overwhelming in a way that's very hard to describe, but very easy to give credit for. And with that, I'm giving it a 9.5.